everyone. Welcome to Unicorn Dust Designs. If you are clicking on my video for the first time, hello, my name is Sammy. Welcome to our community. Today I'm participating in Thrift Flip Road Trip hosted by the Crafting Cousins. It is a little challenge where a bunch of creators get together from across the states and we show you some amazing thrift flips. There's going to be a playlist down in the description box, so make sure to check that out and let me show you today how I turned these thrift flips into beautiful Christmas decor. Let's get going. We are going to start off with this cheese board cloche slash cloche thing. I am going to take some salvation solution. And since this was old, oily, all that good stuff, I always want to make sure that I put that salvation solution on there or a shellac so that none of those tannins and oils come through on my paint. So once that's thoroughly dry, I am going to paint this with crinoline. I am going to be using the Candy Cane Cottage transfers from IOD. And I thought that the crinoline was more of like a soft vintage color versus a pure white. So I'm gonna do two coats of crinoline on here. Then I'm gonna take these beautiful stamps that IOD sent me, thank you so much. And I am going to get one of the bigger uh, floral transfers. I'm gonna lay that on top of the tray or platter. And I did not use any kind of top coat over my paint. I just did paint, dried it, and now we are putting the transfer over the top. You're gonna take the scraper tool it comes with, push down as you pull up on that carrier sheet. Make sure to burnish this by rubbing that transfer with your carrier sheet, which I did not show. And then we are just going to clear coat this with Big Top. Big Top is a water-based product and it is food safe. So it, it fits this perfectly. So after you're done with that, just let it clear, la la la, dry, <laughs> clean your glass and you are good to go. This turned out so pretty and you guys, I mean, sometimes these are easy to find at the thrift store, sometimes. And what an easy way of upcycling it and giving it new life. This transfer almost gives me like boho Christmas vibes with those feathers in the background. But yeah, all the, these details. And this could go for, I feel like, any time of year, not just Christmas. They are so gorgeous. This next one is one of my hot mess DIYs. I needed to clean it off and then I decided, you know what, I need to sand all this lettering off because I do not want to put a million coats of my paint on here. So I sand off all of that, cut off the ribbon because it was absolutely disgusting. And I'm going to take Marquee by DIY Paints. I always remind you guys, Marquee is gonna be your true red, carnival red has a little bit of a pink undertone. So I am gonna do two coats of the marquee. I am trying not to paint the sides because I wanna keep the sides and the back the white color that it came in. After this completely dries, I do two coats of this by the way, did I already say that? I am going to wipe the sides. Y'all, DIY paint is water soluble, so I just take a baby wipe and wipe those edges and they clean up so well. I love that you can just like wipe away the paint and it's easy cleanup. After that, this is where I messed up, okay? I took that salvation solution again, thinking that it was big top, and I put that over the red. Now, this isn't meant to go over the paint, it's supposed to go under, and uh, it made the paint very streaky, I guess you'll say. And I let it dry, you could see it. You guys see it, how streaky that is? It looked horrible. So I end up letting it dry. Then I go over it with Big Top thinking that's gonna work or change anything. It didn't. So I let it dry and then I take my transfer. Now you guys, I'm, I'm learning as we go here, okay? So I am learning that with the more pigmented colors, like red, transfers right after you're done painting it, if you do not let them dry for at least a few hours, the transfers don't stick to them. Now I could take a white or a light color of DIY paints, 
paint my surface, dry it, put a transfer on, never have any issues. But when I use these highly pigmented colors like red, I always have issues if I do not allow it to dry properly. So I had the issue with this transfer. So I'm pushing down, lifting the carrier sheet, but some of the pieces do not want to stick. So I had to go very slow, really take my time so that I could get all of that transfer on the board. Now, after this, I'm like, this just does not look right. Like the paint's streaky, the transfer, there's a couple spots that it did not want to stick. So I decide I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna distress the whole thing and make it look worn and weathered. Okay, no, I don't, I lied. First, I tried to put big top on it and then again, that made it worse. I want, I want you guys, this was a mess. You could tell it was a mess because I can't even explain how many dang steps I took on this dang thing. Okay, now you can see I distressed it here. Okay, I took it outside, took my sander to it, and because there was so many layers on here, you guys, it actually made the red paint look like it had been outside, like hanging on a door and like it was starting to, the paint was starting to peel basically. So I was kind of digging it. I ended up clearing it with clear wax since I had taken my sander to it. And then I got my dark wax and I rubbed that on all the edges just to, you know, give it some dimension. I'm gonna take this ribbon. If you guys didn't know, you could pull out your wire on your ribbon if you do not want it in there. Just pull it right out, right there, just like I did. I learned that from one of you guys, actually, so thank you so much. And I'm gonna tie a knot on it and we are done. You guys have to let me know. Did I, did I completely ruin this? Or do you think, are, are you, is it, are you vibing? Are, are you enjoying this? See, you could see like the different layers that came off. You could see on the little hot cocoa cup, like it just looks like an old ad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like it. Maybe the gingerbread cup helps. <laughs> I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. All right. Now, oh my gosh, you guys, these Santa Clauses. I'm gonna take this, what do you guys call these? I forget, I'm drawing a blank. You guys know I have brain farts. Uh, the, the cheese container, okay? Um, nobody bought it on my website. I was kind of sad. I loved the um, advertising on there. Anywho, I cleaned all of that up and then I took the Santa that has like the flat bottom, like he's peeking up. And I knew right away that this Santa was gonna look beautiful on this brown glaze piece of pottery. So you guys, I will beware. If you use transfers on glass, you better be ready to commit because these transfers cling to glass right away. Once it like sticks to it, you're not moving it. Okay. So you just be prepared there. I didn't even have to use a scraper tool. I just used my finger, came right off. The little hat cracked just a tiny bit on the lip of the container, but other than that, it was gorga, all right? And I thought I was gonna layer it up and you know do all the fancy stuff, but I didn't end up having to do that. You guys, transfers, you can take the easiest of items and make them look high-end, upscale, give them new life. You do not have to even leave your home. You could put them on mason jars, old candle containers, I mean, Options are endless, my friends. And I just popped a Christmas tree in there and look at how adorable this is. It was something that had been forgotten. I gave it new life. This Santa is so detailed and vintage and beautiful. I love him. I don't know if this is gonna be on my website yet or not, or if I wanna keep it. Hey, just checking back in with you guys. I hope you are enjoying these Christmas DIY thrift flips. I know I enjoyed creating them. Uh, last year I did a lot of green and prairie gray in my home decor and crafts. This year I'm throwing in red, okay? So I hope you all are happy. You guys make sure to check out the playlist down in the description box. A lot of creators get involved in this playlist and you might find some people that you have not seen before. So definitely check them out and the Crafting Cousins. 
Also, you guys know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you are digging the channel, then make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Commenting, subscribing, it's an absolutely free way you can help your girl out here on YouTube. And all of my links for like the DIY paints, decoupage paper, all of that stuff is always linked down in the description box, unicorndustdesigns.com. And with that said, you guys, let's get into the rest of this video. At least sounded creepy on that last DIY. I sounded like um, the little guy that says precious. You know what I'm saying? Okay, picking up what I'm putting down. I am taking these little wood bowls and unfortunately I couldn't sell them. They had some kind of residue on them. So I sanded that off. Then I'm gonna take these beautiful um, florals. You actually get eight of them, which is awesome. And First, we are going to coat them in salvation solution. Again, I didn't know what these were used for. And anytime I'm working with wood, I usually will put this salvation solution or shellac on them because it never fails that when I put paint on, the oils come through. So I let that dry. Then again, I'm going in with Marquis and Crinoline. You could see a color theme going on here today. And we are going to give... Um, I can't remember if I give these two coats or one coat. Anyways, you're going to give each one of them a coat. I know for sure the crinoline you are going to have to put on twice. Once that's completely dry, like I said, we're going to get these mini transfers. And I have to admit, you guys, I actually attempted this right after I painted and dried it. And the transfer would not stick. And I totally thought this was going to be a mess up DIY, but I tried it again once I allowed it to dry longer and the transfer worked like a charm as it usually does. I just had to take what little fingernail I had, rub it down and voila, so stinking cute, you guys. And I'm just gonna burnish that in there. I'm gonna rub the carrier sheet on my transfer. I'm gonna take big top, not salvation solution. And I am going to clear these and make sure that my transfers are sealed in. And you always want to sell your paint because again, it's water soluble. After that, we are completely done. And these little trinket bowls are the cutest. I love the little pops of color, that soft pink, especially against the crinoline color. It just pops. And you guys hear me always say it, but the details in these transfers just blow my mind. And again, these do not have to just be for Christmas. I would put these out all year round. So these next ones, super easy peasy. I got these at Dollar Tree. They're, what are they, like ceramic? glass. I don't know. They're breakable. Okay. And I'm just going to take these stickers off of the back of them. And these babies look so high end. I love them. Can't tell you if I got them recently because you guys know I have a hoard going on. So I'm going to take some of these transfers. And at first I thought I was going to layer with all different transfers. I decided against it. I'm going to take this vintage Santa for the tag. And again, once you stick it, it ain't coming off. And then I'm gonna burnish it. And then for the round one, sisters, IOD sisters, can you please make a big version of this? If you guys watch my videos, a big version of this tree for next year. Oh my gosh. I would have put this thing on everything. This tree is stunning. I'm gonna take that twine off because I end up putting a different piece of twine on it later. And then I'm just picking out the green that I want to paint these resin pieces in. So for the Santa one, I'm gonna use gypsy green. And then for the Christmas tree, I'm going to use aviary. You'll see, I'm not gonna make you watch me paint all of this. Now I'm going to take this little jewel piece. This is for our Christmas tree and I paint it red and then I get some wax and do the outside in gold because the tree has some like white gold in there. And now to accessorize our ornaments, we are going to glue our pieces on. Now tie bond, you might think it's just a wood glue, but it's not. It actually adheres to many surfaces, including glass. 
So I'm going to take my tight bond wood glue or all purpose glue, I'll say, and I'm just going to brush that on the back of these resin pieces. And that is how we are going to accessorize them. And it just gives it a little bit more dimension. It just makes it look a little bit more bougier. You know, I, oh, I love it. Just let them set up. They dry so fast and look at how cute they turned out. Again, a very simple idea, but we just jazzed it up and took it up a notch by adding just those little tiny pieces to them. And it just makes it a little bit more special. You guys look at that tree. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. How beautiful these are. Oh, I hope that one you liked you guys. All right. This last one, so you guys, I thought I was like getting off easy and I was like, I'm gonna take this red tray, we're gonna put a transfer on it, we're gonna call it a day, easy peasy, right? But you guys know me and there were scratches on the top and I just, it, I couldn't hang. I was, you know, I sat there and I was like, I could cover it up with the transfer. I, I could make this work, but I couldn't. In the end, I couldn't. So here I am painting it with marquee, of course. Nothing's ever, ever easy, you guys. You know, it always has to be one extra step. And then I'm gonna take this vintage Christmas tree. It has vintage ornaments, presents, so beautiful. And you guys, they sell, this one is actually like one I thrifted. It was like a Target dollar spot tray. So these are very accessible even at places like Target, Walmart even has a dollar spot place now. Um, so definitely be on the lookout. And it's a very simple way of just changing the look of a plain riser. After I'm done, I do my burnishing and then I'm gonna clear it. As you can see, red paint or high, highly pigmented colors, even like black, it will transfer. So make sure you just use a separate brush for that. And this is it, you guys. Look at how beautiful that transfer is. It definitely pops against the red. I hope you guys got inspired by this video. There are so many new goodies that have come out by Iron Orchid Designs. And you guys look out because hopefully I'll be selling it soon. Um, unfortunately, the Christmas line has sold out. So I probably will not be uh, getting the Christmas line. So buy from whoever you need to to get your hands on those beautiful pieces and i thank you guys so much for being here and spending your precious time with me i appreciate y'all bye road thrift flip road. <laughs> this is every everywhere look at the 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 thing you know that thing is it there yeah it's there okay so look at me valtry and i love a little this thing is killing. Kill, like, I don't even know where these belong. Candle bars. That's where they need to be. But I mean, maybe that's saying like I'm growing hair and that's always good, right? I don't know. You guys, <clears throat> I'm so sorry you haven't seen me on camera lately. I really have not been feeling like myself and uh, it's just been hard to like put myself together and get on the camera. So I apologize, but know that I appreciate you guys and I'll get there. Okay. All right. All right. Bye you guys.